Hi, my name's Chris. I am studying a uh, Bachelor of Computer Science and I'm in my third year. How much study do you do coming up to exams and like what's your exam prep sketch like? Well, in, in my first year I had many exams, but in my second and third years I've had like one or two each semester. But I remember in, in, in my first year I had it, well, at my university we have two weeks for exams and I had three exams all in consecutive days. It was like a, I think it was a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it was absolute hell. Cause I remember finishing finishing an exam and immediately going in into the next one. In terms of studying for exams, I'd say basically start studying for the exam as soon as you've finished your your last assessment for that course. Like as soon as you've submitted your last assignment for the coursework, commit that time that you would normally do on assignments to your exam studying. Do you think like keeping notes throughout the the whole semester is important for study, or just going back over notes is more important? Um. I'd say it it depends on a few factors. Like it depends on what kind of course it is and also what your learning style is. Um, for me personally, I I keep notes for wordy subjects, whereas subjects where it's more like logical thinking like maths and programming, I don't tend to keep as much notes. Whereas subjects like like I'm doing this one subject called professional practice where you have to learn about work workplace etiquette and things like that, where it's there's not as many numbers, but it's more about words. Um, I would probably keep keep notes about that because it's. I think it's easier to remember numbers than it is to remember words and mm. phrases that you'd need to remember. So one of your tips would be don't stress too much about notes in every subject. Kind of pick the subjects that have like a lot of material and like then you can break it down into smaller notes to help you later. Yeah, I would say keep notes for um, terms that you need to remember, but for the for the programming and and the numbers and maths. I'd say practice is more important than actually keeping notes. Yeah. Um, it's definitely good to keep like formulas that you'll be reusing throughout the course, but definitely practice. Practice is better than just having the notes there for, for, for those subjects. You said you struggle with like finding work home balance and like doing chores and, and like coming into your own as like living on your own. Do you have, did you struggle with like procrastination times at uni and how would you oh, keep yeah. on top of your workload? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> procrastination is such a killer i think it's probably the probably the biggest reason why a lot of people don't do very well at uni um i definitely struggled i i remember staying up until 4 a.m one night just doing an assignment that i started at eight o'clock in the morning but it was just that big big of, of, of an assignment um it was due that night so i submitted it a day late te technically but i thought i'd just take the the, the 10 percent on, on the chin i have a new kind of rule i think if i've got an assessment it's halfway between when it was issued and when it's due i should probably start looking at it that's that's my general rule i don't like starting things straight away and that's <laughs> and it, it sounds a bit bad but that that's purely because i like looking at um forums and other student there, there's a student discord that i like scrolling through because often you'll find the answers there well not well not the exact answers but like tips that'll definitely help you there mm. um i don't like being <laughs> i don't like being the guy who's doing it first because then often i get bombarded with questions from other students so i try to be in the middle but yeah pro procrastination a eh, it's yeah i can um, see that i think that's a good point like in your first year you don't realize the transition from high school to uni is so large in not in respect of like workload but how it's delivered it's delivered a lot slower yeah. in uni so it's like you can find yourself being like oh this is going to be easy and then you just like stop paying attention for a while yeah and another big thing is that there's no external motivation from your teachers in university again they they're not paid to encourage you uh compared to high school teachers they're they have like 500 students each or something, which is immense. So they, they don't have the, the energy or time really to make sure everyone's up, up, up to date on their work, which is which is another big learning step uh, from high school to uni is learning to motivate yourself to do your work mm. because no one's, no one's going to be there to, to, to motivate you. I uh, just want to touch on, you said you really only use uni systems when you're enrolling. Did you ever find it hard to use any of the uni systems? And if so, was there any ready information to help you out? Uh, yeah, a, a couple of times I'd get stuck with the um, university interfaces, especially with the financial stuff, because that's pretty sensitive and important. So yeah, but they, they normally have a phone number there or, or times of, of opening 
for the officers if you wanted to see someone in person, which I did capital capitalize on a few times, especially with the with the loan stuff because that's pretty important. If there's something wrong, it could be pretty pretty messy. So during your first year or halfway through your first year, you started studying online due to COVID. Uh, what some difficulties you found? either with the transition of going in person to online, was it just more like procrastination or what was your main struggles with online learning? I would say overall is actually a lot easier purely because there was no face-to-face -face assessments with closed book. So like no, no closed book exams, it was all open book stuff, which made it a lot easier. But in terms of pro procrastination, yes, I'd say it was purely because you're at home and you think, oh, I don't need to attend that live lecture. I can just watch it later or something like, like that. And then you never ended up you never end up watching it. Yeah, that's so real. <laughs> yeah. So in person to online learning, the thing that you benefit most from, you think, is the fact that you found assignments and assessments were a bit easier because like you're yeah, in that were. workspace and you can open book stuff. Yeah, they, they were a lot easier. But on the flip side, I have a feeling that employers who realize who see that you completed your studies over COVID, they may find a little bit less value in your qualifications purely because of that fact. I do think because we, we've gone back to some closed book assessments, especially at the end of, la of last year. And I find I found it really difficult because I'd gotten so used to open book, open book assessments that actually memorizing content had become so hard for me. Oh, so I it actually, became like a skill that just really got weak over that like one and a half, yeah. two year gap. I, I, I'd forgotten how to actually drill the material into my brain because all the open assessments was just, oh, just open up the uni page and you just flick to the section, you just control F and, yeah. <laughs> and you'd find what, whatever you were looking for. Yeah. Um. So did you participate in any like uni groups or anything before COVID? And like, did it stop you being a part of any like brain groups or whatever you had on campus? Uh, actually, not really. I My first year of uni was 2020, which is right when COVID started. Mm. So my first two years out of three was 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 remote okay. for the most part. But um, you found yeah. that as more students got comfortable to COVID learning, you managed to find like uni groups and Discord and stuff. How was that in helping you with your learning? Yeah, I think the 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 Discord especially. I spend a lot of time in there, especially during my assignments. There's a bunch of student helpers. You can e there's even lecturers and tutors that that are in there. Yeah, I think having a place where you can get feedback on questions you have is, is really nice so you found the social aspect of it it actually enhanced like the learning process and made you like memorize material or get a great grasp on it better uh yeah i i i, I, I would agree with that i would definitely say it's it's a helpful thing yeah. okay so do you think like finding these discords and groups should be more accessible for those people and like other students uh, in your course that may not know about it from word of mouth? I think so, yes. I think it should be it should be made like an, an official thing that's tied to the uni. Because I think the one that I'm part of was actually founded by a student who thought it, it, it would be a good idea. And he managed to get the university staff on board. So may, maybe it's transitioned into an official thing. All right. Uh, last two questions. Uh, with the university systems, is there any changes that you would like make on any of the systems to make it like more user-friendly or something like that? Mm -hmm. I wish our emails were connected with the university canvas because they're, they're on separate websites and it's very annoying, um, especially when you when you get a an announcement on the canvas um, saying that people haven't responded to the emails. And you think, oh, well, uh, no, I, have, I haven't checked my emails yet, it's especially because of the one subject I'm doing. It's a project based subject where I have supervisors who are actually university staff. They're like partnered with the with with the university and I have to maintain contact with them. However, I need to just open up a whole new tab and access my emails sep separately. Whereas um, I wish I could just have it as like a tab on the on the uh, on the university canvas so I can see it alongside all my due dates and all my course notes and everything. So you would like it if Canvas implemented just like within itself, like its own mail, like the mailing system was linked on the one Canvas board. So when you go in to look at your subjects, you can see all your emails and stuff as well. Alrighty, thank you for that.